DDC is changing things up when it comes to the classroom. Their updated social distancing guidelines for K through 12 reflect new evidence on physical distancing while learning. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller went to Norwood today where students are now back in the building five days a week. The CDC has long recommended that six feet is an acceptable distance, but that's been thrown out the window. Now they say three feet is all you need. Today was great. We had the band playing, the cheerleaders out, balloons and everything to welcome our students back. There was a celebration Monday at Norwood Middle and High School as students march back to school for five day a week learning. The district has been in a hybrid model since August. A plexiglass around the desk. All the children, of course, are wearing their masks. And in the cafeteria, we have spread the uh, tables out. The move back to full time in person learning coincided with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's change in operational strategy for K through 12 schools. Instead of the six feet we're all used to, the CDC now says three feet apart is safe while wearing a mask. We have picnic tables outside because that's where you need the six foot of distance because children are taking their mask off obviously to eat. So you need that six foot perimeter around around the child. Another district using the three foot rule is Lakota local schools. Staff and students there have been back in the classroom full time since August. So we try and do six feet when possible, but that's, you know, in a class where we have um, the majority of our students back, 75% of our students are back and in the buildings. Um, you know, it, it's not always possible. She says three feet is working because numbers of cases are down drastically this semester. It, it's been very, very little if any spread. Uh, we have 23 buildings and when the state was seeing the spikes after like Halloween and Thanksgiving, our numbers obviously increased as well. Um, but we were able to trace a lot of those back to um, out of school activities. Both districts say it's refreshing to have students back in the classroom for good. This is starting to feel like normal again, so we're just so happy. In Norwood, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News. Cincinnati Public Schools will return to five days in person learning the 31st. One at Hills High School will also go back to school five days a week on a phased in plan. All the districts we spoke with today have online options for students who are concerned about going back into the classroom.